Okay, everybody, welcome to another episode of Harp's Court. I have one of my favorite people joining me on this particular show, none other than Vernon Maxwell, better known as Mad Max. Thanks for joining me, partner. Hey, homeboy, thanks for having me, man. You know we finna put on a show for these folks, man. We got to. Thanks for having me. You got the, you got the right one. The only thing I want to say about this shit, man, is that you waited too damn long, homeboy. I was supposed to be the number one guest. No question. First guest. I can't I catch up with you. I was supposed to be you. that guy now. I can, you are that guy. I couldn't catch up with you. But let, oh, okay. let's jump That's right into it, man. With you. That. With you, V, I got to go right to it, man. We we played against each other in the 94 finals. And real quick, man, run me through, and you don't have to be quick. Uh, bad choice of words. Yeah. Run me through, when I say 94 finals, Knicks against the Rockets, what, what kind of memories does it bring back for you? Because I know what it brings back for me. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm glad you asked me about that. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, because, I mean... It, I knew it was going to be a tough series for both teams. I mean, we kind of was similar to each other, but y'all was on the East. I mean, they say the West, we run more than the East run and shit. Yeah. But um, but um, and y'all more want to be in the half court set and beat on people and shit. So, <laughs> but um, I knew it was going to be a tough series. I mean, because I, I mean, I, I figured you were better than Kenny. I'm going to give you that homeboy. I was better than I your whole backcourt, but go ahead. Yeah, you, you, no, you're damn not. <laughs> Uh, you were better than Kenny, and me and John, we was pretty much wash each other out because uh-huh. we both was crazy. You didn't know who you was gonna get on what damn night, right? And 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 Rob Horry and Charles Smith, I take freak over him, right. Robert Horry, and uh, Otis Thorpe and Oak, I give me Oak, and then Dream was a wash in the middle. Yeah, he and Patrick. But we knew it was gonna be tough, but man, I mean, all y'all motherfuckers was doing. I mean, y'all was talking a bunch of shit. Right. And, well, y'all, I mean, especially you, homeboy. <laughs> I, I really want to put you on blast out here, too. So was you was talking, talking a lot of shit, homeboy, through the whole series. <laughs> I was talking I mean, trash. Me, hey, this man, is, hey, this man, is... hey, they, 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 they man, they talk, talking about John Starks burn. No, man, that man over there giving this damn interview was a motherfucking <laughs> problem, man. That man... That, that mouthpiece, man. <laughs> that man ran that mouth, man. I, I mean, yeah, yeah, my homeboy, man. I love him to death before that man. <laughs> God damn, man. I mean, he used to tell me, boy, you know you can't dribble with your left hand and shit. Right. He used to get all my secrets away. Right. I already knew I was right-handed. I was dominant right-handed, motherfucker. You let me get to the right, nobody can stop me. Yeah. But he used to, yeah, he ripped me one time. All right, a, a true story. <laughs> yeah. A true story. Okay, let me give you the story. All right, we was in, we was in uh, I think we was in Houston. Mm-hmm. I was bringing that motherfucker up. He made me put it in my left hand and knew I was weak with my left hand and shit. He came by and he ripped what well, he was guarding me. He ripped me. And and then I was like, man, this mother, I, mean, I wanted to run him. I tried to run him down to like to ham him, but I couldn't catch his ass. And I know what he was saying in his mind, man, <laughs> I told y'all this motherfucker can't drill with his left That's hand, right. man. That's right. Y'all motherfucker, man, but uh no, nah, but it was a great series. Yeah. But um, I mean, um, I knew it was gonna be seven games. I mean, y'all thought y'all had us when y'all won, you know, up in our court. Yeah, we went up, we went up three, two. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. But we already knew because we we felt like we let one got away in Houston mm-hmm. in game, I think it was game two. Yeah. We let one got away, and then we said, you know, like they say, that the best game to go still is game three. Yep. The first game when you go on the road. So and that's what we went up there. We was concentrated on. We just wanted to get one game. Yes. Because all we say, we get one game, we are all right. Because we just figured it'd be, it'd be far for somebody to come back. But we knew y'all could do it. But we just figured we we just, after we got that one game in game three, we felt good about ourselves. If we could get another one, we'd have been fine with that. But since we didn't, oh. and we were going back to Houston, shit, man, we were, we was we was confident. <laughs> we, was, right. we, we did what we had to do. Yeah. Uh, ultimately, ultimately, Max, what do you think decided the series? It went seven games. It, it was back and forth to your point a few seconds ago. What do you think was the deciding factor of uh, of you guys being crowned champions? Oh, man, I just felt like um, in game seven, you know, because I mean, true enough. I, I mean, I get to you, uh, you and John. Y'all outplayed me and Kenny. 
right. in, in, in the finals. Y'all did that. Uh-huh. Y'all out places. We couldn't make a guy. We couldn't hit the side of the goddamn. We couldn't hit the side of nothing. So y'all outplayed us as far, I mean, as the guards y'all did. But in game seven, you know, I mean, John didn't have the best game. I felt like. That was six, I thought. No, that was seven. It was seven. Now, that was seven, home. Yeah, he was two for 19. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, and I, I felt like I, they should have went somewhere else. Uh-huh. Not knocking my guy John Stoss because yeah, I course. love him to death. I'm getting ready to go play in this golf tournament uh, this month okay, on cool. the 20th. Yeah. yeah, on the 20th. So, but not knocking him and shit. But, you know, shit, if it ain't your night, when it's me and him, when it ain't our night, you got to just pull our ass and sit our ass down. Because we don't know how to stop shooting. We ain't got no conscience. <laughs> right. So you got to sit our dog asses down. <laughs> right. So, you know, cause, and I was just like, damn, Pat, you ain't going to put Hubert in here? Hubert put came somebody. this motherfucker. Rolando Blackman should have got. A couple of jumpers. Bam, bam. I said, yeah. damn, get him out of here. Well, Ro, I, thought Ro, I thought Ro huh? deserved an opportunity. Rolando Blackman deserved an opportunity as well in that series because. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I think they thought, Ro, you know how the NBA is, homeboy. When I ask, when you ask, get over 35 and all right, that right, shit. Right, right, You're too old. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yes, you, you, you can't play with these young boys. Now, you, right. you be over here, be a good goddamn teammate. Yes. And. And, and and talk to these young kids and show them the way. You know how that shit goes. Oh, so that's why they ain't probably play role. But Ro, I, 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 and you know, and Ro's a shot maker. Yes, he is. Yes, he is, homeboy. Yeah, shit. I remember them days in Dallas. He gave me a bunch of buckets. You and him, all that shit. I just hate that shit. But yeah, Ro's a bucket. So, but I'm 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 glad Pat did what he did. But I think that's what like like did it. Game seven. Because it was pretty much even all the way until that. Yep. yep. Game six. It was, it was going back and forth. The battles was like it was they were even. But y'all all played us in the backcourt. I, I give y'all that. But I just feel like game seven, you know, that that hurts y'all, man. Yeah. You can't have a man out there in that game going two for 19. Mm-hmm. Then, I mean, did, that that killed that was a deciding point right there. That's yeah. what killed you. What and then you he say? cut the damn last shot. Right, John. <laughs> I what mean, you, game what, six. That's what, what 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 going crazy out there. Yeah, what do you say to people that said because at that particular time in 94, Michael Jordan retired, remember? Right. So a lot of the media was quoted as saying that it the, the, that it was a, a bad series, that it was a very uninteresting finals, if you would. Well, what do you say to people that felt that way? Uh, about the they don't game. know that them motherfuckers don't know basketball <laughs> when they see it. Right. Oh uh, shit, we had everything from up here to the bottom of the ceiling. Right. Shit, we had OJ in our goddamn series. He got that motherfucker chasing OJ down the fucking freeway out there in LA. Yeah. We had that man. We got a memorable ass series, man. I don't give a damn what nobody say. Yeah, a lot went on. That was a hell of a series, man. I mean, we. I mean, I understand everybody used to see Mike in the finals, and they say our finals don't count because Mike wasn't playing and all that count. shit. But man, shit, I, I Mike made a dumbass decision, right? You know, doing that dumbass shit, and no, he couldn't hit no damn baseball. Man, you can't get out there and talk about you're gonna be a baseball player when you played that shit <laughs> way back when you was a goddamn chap, and right. talking about you're gonna hit a goddamn curveball, man, and a fastball, man. You better be doing that shit all your life like you were, like we did basketball. Man, you can't just jump in that shit like that. Don't work like that, homeboy. But right. that was a crazy-ass decision. And thank you. Thank you, Mike, for that dumb-ass decision you made. Yeah. Shit, I, I, I quote me on that. Yeah, that was a well, dumb-ass listen, decision. I ain't scared listen, to talk about your ass. Listen, give me this. When you look at the game today, how, how much difference do you think it is? How much different... Steph Curry, oh, Kyrie Irving, uh, Kevin on. Durant, LeBron James. What, what's the big difference in the NBA in 222 opposed to the 90s, the 80s, and the 90s? Okay, it's easy as hell. This is the easiest question in the world. Because now you just have like, like just think, we now it's a handful of good ball players in the NBA. Mm-hmm. Everybody else is role players around this shit. Mm-hmm. We got a handful of good ball players in the NBA. The guys that you were saying, oh, we all know who they are. Yeah. I ain't got to go through the damn list. Right. But but back when we played homeboy, man, 
Everybody was shot makers. Everybody could play the game. Every, it wasn't no goddamn just, okay, we okay, we had our superstars and those guys like Dream and Ewan and Mike. And, you know, they're going to get their shots. Yeah, they're going to get their shots. But we were... Every night wasn't a night, you know. What I mean, we 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 was we we were you know we was a problem too. Mm-hmm. You got so many guys that don't understand and don't know how to play the game today, and that's where the game is lost. At you know, yep. this my brother, man. You can't touch nobody, man. Back when we played, man, you know how physical that shit was, homeboy. Yeah, you ride your ass all the way down the court. And there ain't gonna be <laughs> nothing called, man. They right. use the best at that shit. Right. You that was your that was your shit. Yeah. Hand checking. I, I, yeah, that was your shit. That's yeah. what you you was the best at. I I, I should have came down and spent the damn summer with you and learned that shit from you. Because <laughs> you was the best at that shit, man. Right. I'm just telling you, man, I gotta give you the kudos for that shit. You was you was a hell of a motherfucker with that now, riding yeah. with that. Oh man, you I mean, but yeah. I mean just the physicality, homeboy, just going to the basket. Like, these boys go to the basket so freely now. Yeah. Man, yeah. you know, back in the day, man, they'll yeah, tell you, man, you'd be picking yourself up. You'd be picking yourself up. That's right. Keep bringing your ass down here. Man, I'm going to knock your ass out. Yeah, keep coming down here. Yeah. And then, I mean, eventually we're going to keep coming because we don't know no better. I mean, you got to you gotta show us, and then they're going to knock your ass out the air, and then it's yeah. going to be a common foul. A lot of these kids can't take that shit, man. Right. Cause a lot of them ain't never really had no fucking fist fights. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You can't fist fight out there. Nah, you gotta. They they, don't, they, they scared of these. <laughs> these motherfuckers. They scared of these motherfuckers. See, so so that's what I'm saying. If they could have, they would have been able to play like. See, we used to fight all the time. We when we came up, you <laughs> know what I mean. Absolutely. I mean that's agree, agree. That's the best remedy for us, man. And then when you fight a motherfucker. Then you might you, you gonna have respect for that motherfucker that you just right. fought. You ain't right. you gonna respect that man. You hear me? Well, at least but you warned. Gonna... At least you warned my producers that they were gonna have to edit a bunch of stuff. So you, yeah, we, we I'm always... sorry, man. But damn, man, I just I, <laughs> I, I, I can't talk. I gotta get this shit off, and I want to get the ratings up. And um, I, I just hey. got them. That's my homeboy. I love him so much. I appreciate I got, the love, man. I, I, I gotta really get. Do. I gotta get to you uncut like this. I'm okay. sorry. I appreciate it. Listen. So this, I think, it was this past year. Didn't you guys have a reunion uh, for the the '94 championship team back in Houston? Yeah. Yeah, we did it uh, two years ago. Homeboy. Two years ago. Okay. Well, we'll talk yeah. to talk to my viewers about that. I, I know you talked about it before, but. What I saw there was everybody being ultra excited that you showed up. It was a big deal that Mad Max, Vernon Maxwell, was on yeah. the scene for that reunion for the 94 uh, championship Houston Rockets team. What, what was that experience like for you? Yeah, homeboy, it was, it was, it was, it was, it was a blessing um, because, you know, we had fell out yeah. with each other yeah. in 95. Mm-hmm. You know, so and when I left, I hadn't did nothing, didn't say nothing to nobody. I just said I just left and I was done. And 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 they said they wanted to do a 94 reunion. Yeah. And they said they couldn't have did it without me. Right. And um, and then so I just felt like, you know, okay, man, grown man, that's water on the bridge now. I mm-hmm. mean, they wanna they reached out to you, so go ahead and 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 you know show these people some love because they did reach out to you, and but um, I mean it was so, difficult, but it was it was it, I, I, it was something that I think I needed to do yeah for myself and for the Rockets, you know, uh-huh. uh, because the way I left, you know, and they they you know they brought in Clyde on me, didn't even speak to me yeah, about what, what, nothing. What was that about? I I read something about that actually. What was that about yeah. about you and Clyde? Yeah, well, see, they, they, they. When I got the ten game suspension, when I went in the stand and smacked the shit out of that, uh, that damn boy uh, up there in Portland uh-huh. <laughs> for talking about my stillborn daughter. Yeah. Um. Um. Uh, uh, they gave me that ten game suspension, and then they didn't even talk to me about it. I've been there for eight years, man. Them blood, sweat, and tears for this motherfucker made so many big shots and won so many big games, and yeah. I mean, I mean, doing everything, but they, they didn't even feel like they had the need to talk to me. About they was bringing them in because I wouldn't have cared. Right, I right, right. Felt, part I, of it. It's part of it. Show part, me the decent. 
Yeah, yeah. man. Just, just respect me, man, for what I've done to the, for this organization, man. I mean, we just won a dang old championship, man. Come on, man. Give but me I, that much. You know, I forget. I think a lot of people forget that even though you were a part of the first championship, yeah, you weren't a part of the second one. Right. That's right. what I'm saying. Right. That, that, yeah. This is when when things went awry for you after they brought Clyde in. Right. Yeah. So when and then so I end up coming back like towards the end of the season, right before the playoffs, and then they would put me in just like I knew. I, but I, I would have been fine with them starting Clyde. That's fine. Yeah. That's Clyde Drexler. You hear me? Yeah, Hall yeah. of Famer. I don't think that motherfucker was better than me. Right. But I know. I mean, for what I mean, his his numbers show that. But when you uh, go to Vernon Maxwell and Clyde Drexler head to head, I don't give a damn way he played that. I, that now, you ain't going right on me, Clyde. I'm gonna send you, I'm gonna get all, I'm gonna embarrass your ass. I'm gonna jump all the way right. I'm gonna send your ass all the way left, all the way up in them goddamn stands and goddamn well. Cause I know you're finna kick it up there somewhere in them damn stands because you can't dribble with your left. Right. He so, does. but I'm just saying, so the numbers ain't lie. Look at the numbers, man. I mean, I, he, was a, he was one of the easiest guys in the league for me to guard, man. Mm -hmm. Just sat on his right hand. He just sat yeah, on his right hand, sit him left. Yeah, I sat on that motherfucker all yeah. night long, my boy. He'll put that damn head down with his strong ass and try to bully it. <laughs> but I, I, I ain't the guy for all that shit. But I mean, but we're going back to my story. Um, they, they, they didn't tell me, but they brought him in, and then I mean, then the playoffs started, and then we were playing against Utah up there, and then I mean, the first game of the series in Utah, shit. Um, I'm like, damn, the motherfucking first quarter that went by. I ain't got them seen not one second. Yeah. They ain't never used to see the flow was running on the flow before me. I'm like, well, God damn, what kind of shit is this? Right. So, you know, I'm over there. I'm I'm, I'm heated now. Cause shit, I'm, I'm looking at don't even supposed to be playing for me over that motherfucker. So I'm so I, then so halftime came, I still ain't got any game. And he know, he know, he couldn't even look at me, Rudy T. Right. He's sitting up there talking and shit. I'm trying to, I'm standing him down. I, I'm looking right through his ass. Because mm -hmm. he know I'm, he know I'm heated. Right. So third quarter come, his ass still didn't play my ass. <laughs> and this motherfucker gonna play Clyde the whole damn game. He right. love this motherfucker. He yeah. love this motherfucker. All these yeah. shots I done made for this motherfucker. Let me, let me ask you and, this. And, what, it, let me ask you this, Vernon. Was was Clyde productive as a player at that particular time? Was he still? He was. He was okay. He was yeah. okay. He was just he was trying to fill his way in with the team, with the guys. Right. You know, he's fitting in. You know, when he, you know, he he gonna be Clyde. He gonna be Clyde. You know, the guy get to the cup. You know, mm -hmm. going right. You know, like he do. A lot of people don't. I mean, that's he. He was okay. I mean, shit. He was okay. I mean. But damn, I should have, I mean, he can't, he's supposed to play me, man. Then the fourth quarter come, homeboy. Now, fourth quarter come, bam. We get down, bam. Fourth quarter come, bam. We down two with like eight seconds left in the game. Okay. This motherfucker called my name, man. I've been sitting on this motherfucking Rudy, bench though. Rudy, whole Rudy called your name? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Max, come on and make this shot for us. I'm like, what the fuck? This motherfucker, all right, yeah, come on, put me in this motherfucker. Man, I already, man, I didn't even try to make that motherfucker. Right. I just so, threw that motherfucker up. They almost went in. I was like, bitch, don't go in, bitch. I just threw that bitch up. I was, man, I was heated, man. Then after the game, man, then, you know, I went off like a crazy-ass, wild-ass man, you know, yeah. cussing everybody out, everybody trying to calm me down in the locker okay. room. On that and, note, the, the, do you regret that? Do you regret yes, going yes, off that, and the way you dealt the, with it? The way I the, the way I left, I shouldn't have, I don't regret the way I talked to them in the locker room, the way I what I did, what I said, yeah. because I had to get that off my chest ultimately for me to be in, uh, in a person with some sanity. Right. So I had to get that shit off my goddamn chest. Right. But um um uh what was your question, homeboy? You asked me now. Brother, not you regret it the way you left. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah because yeah, obviously yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, yeah, yeah. You hadn't been back. Yeah, yeah, that was you that hadn't been back until you guys had the reunion, right? Yeah, that, that was one of the worst decisions that I ever made in my life, yeah. man. And yeah, playing yeah. basketball wise, because but see, 
I was supposed to get paid the year before. Right. But then when we after we won the championship, like they told me, then they said they wanted to see me do it again. Uh-huh. And then, so I was like, huh? And so, and then so, and then that's that happened. And then then I left. So, but I was I was getting ready to get the bank. I was getting ready to get the bring truck back up to right. them and the kid to me. I should have got them. I should have them. I should have just that the old Mad Max. I got them Mad Max. He, he he messed up a bum. He, got them he, he came out at the wrong time. Mad Max. Came. Oh, Mad Max. I I hated him for that one. <laughs> I so, that, I hated for that one. That mother, she, he charged me up. Yeah, but but moving right along, man. So right now, top five guards. I don't care point guards, two guards. Top five guards, in your opinion, in the NBA today. Mm. Ja, and you can't say you because you're not playing anymore. No, nah, no, nah, ja, I wanted to. Ja, <laughs> Ja Morant, Kyrie, uh, uh. Is LeBron a guard? No, LeBron is a basketball player. Okay, we just call him <laughs> basketball player. <Okay. laughs> yeah, he's just a basketball Kyrie, player. Ja, um, um, uh, Donovan Mitchell. Um, uh, see, I miss you. Missed me on that one. Yeah, he's getting uh, there. He's Donovan Mitchell is getting there. I don't think. Yeah, I, I, I like him. He he he, he, he yeah. killed me. Um um, who else? Uh uh, shit. I like um. Uh, that's three of them, right? That's three. I, uh, I like uh, no Steph. Yeah, you know, well, you yeah, know, well, yeah, Steph in there, and um, and um, shit, um, yeah, um, maybe Dame Lillard. Yeah, I like Dame. Dame, he slowing down a little bit, but I like Dame. Yeah, there you go, Dame. Look, there it is, homeboy. That's what well, he, he averaged 24, 25 last year. I don't know if you yeah, know that, that, that slowing stay, down or not. He can still get it done. Yeah. But he's stay on the shelf too much. Yeah, he's me. on the injury list quite a bit. This boy, this boy stay hurt too much. Well, you know, <laughs> back in the day, homeboy, we surprised ourselves on playing 82 games, man. Sure did. I mean, sure I did. really wanted to do that shit, man. Yeah. I mean, I love this shit that much, man, where I really want to play 82 games. Mm-hmm. Man, these kids are sit down to rest, man. So, man, I ain't finna rest in no big game, man. I ain't resting in no game, man. I want to play, man. I want to compete. I want to see what this motherfucker got. Right. Who who gave you the most problems? I know Mike Michael Jordan killed yeah, you. Yeah, Mike. Mike gave you problems. I know he gave you. What about Dale Ellis? How, how did you? Dale Ellis was a Dale Ellis was a, a great jump shooter. Yeah. Uh, you know, Miss Richmond used to give me problems. You know, oh. got big my homeboy. You know, the homeboy. Florida like, guy. Yeah, man. He like he he, he all mid range. That boy really won't shoot no threes. He yeah. gonna post you up the whole night. Motherfucker, yeah. one night I was out there in Sacramento. I was guarding him. I said, damn, old boy, they done converted you to a power forward now. All you do is all got <laughs> me on the strong. block. He was strong. No question about it. just kept me on the block the whole night. I said, damn, they done show. But, um, yeah, but, uh, and Reggie Miller. Reggie, yeah. And the guys give me the most problems out of everybody. And I tell everybody this. And everybody be like, huh? Draws and Petrovich. That man gave oh, me Oh, yeah. Fit. Yeah, rest man, in I peace. I can stand that. Well, that motherfucker, God bless you, brother. Tough. That man, good God, that man, good God, too. I couldn't, whew, that boy could, whew. Oh, man, he's giving me problems. Yeah, he, he he was tough. There's no doubt about it. Very unorthodox, if you would, as a player, yes. in that my European. opinion. Yeah, the yes. Euro yes. the Euro stuff really yes. made him yes. difficult yes. to guard. Yes. V, let me, let me, this is a, I, I just want to turn the page a little bit. Is there anything throughout your career that you regret that if you could do it all over again, obviously the Houston situation at the end of your career, but throughout your career, man, what would you have done different? I ask myself this, this same question all the time. And I ask all the guys this, Yeah, yeah. would and they have done anything? Question. Yeah. If they would do that's, anything different as far as question. their career is concerned. That's a good question. I mean, I, I, it's a lot of stuff. I, I mean, <laughs> a lot of stuff. I ain't homeboy, but I'm just gonna I'm gonna say this, like you said, that Houston was that yeah, that yeah, was yeah, that was, that was an isolated, that, isolated situation. Thing, yeah, I just think homeboy, I felt like I retired too early, man. Mm. Because yeah, that was that that's something that I I I think about all the time. Cause I had four or five years left up in me, man. Mm. 
Mm. I, I, I retired way too early, man. I, I mean, I could have went by 17, man, mm -hmm. 18. But I, 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 that's what I regret, man. And I ain't get it all like I should have got it all. I, I, I you feel like I you have more it. game left. Yes, I had way more game left. I I, I should have stayed playing. And I, I just left because I couldn't take not playing. And, and then, you know, they want you to be a good teammate when you don't play. And, and it's hard for somebody like me and you, you know, to – be sitting over there and you ain't going to play, man. They want me yeah. to be a professional about yeah. it. And, and I understand that part about being a professional because that's what we on a professional team. And you should carry yourself like that. But, man, it's just like I just – it was just – I couldn't deal with that part, man. And and, and I, it just – it just it, I had a lot of bad days, yeah. you know, when I when, – when, like, I, when I went to Dallas and I was playing with Dallas and yeah, I, I just felt like – it was just, I was just there just because I was just somebody, they just put me there. Mm -hmm. There wasn't nowhere that I was wanted, you know, like that, you know? Yeah. So, and that's when I thought it was about over. I mean, that's why I just, but I, 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 I should I should have stayed in the game long home. I shouldn't have retired in 13 years. I should have retired in about 18 years. Mm -hmm. Let me, let yeah. me ask you, I, I talked to a lot of guys, you know, I still, I call games for the Mavs on Bally Sports, and I see a lot of the old heads, right? Yeah. And a lot of them are bitter. You know, like I, I played 16 years. I, I did yeah. my time. Yeah. And when it was time for me to give it up, V, it was easy for me. I said, you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm tired of traveling. Right, I'm right. Tired of, more than anything, I was tired of the preparation for right. the season. Right. I, I was tired of working out, getting ready. Getting ready for the season. Yeah, so when I retired, I was not angry. I wasn't bitter. I think a lot of guys are bitter at the end of their careers, and it leaves a bad taste in their in their mouth. You're not one of those guys, I, I don't think. Nah, nah, no, you're, you're I'm, I'm not. I'm not. No, I'm not bitter. I'm 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 cool. Yeah, happy. I mean, the way well, well, the way my career ended, the way it went, and you know, I can. Everything I did, I can, yeah, I did that shit. And, um, but, um, <laughs> no, I'm, I'm fine with, I'm fine with all that, man. And I don't have no ill feeling towards the NBA or towards no team or no players or yeah, nothing like yeah. that. The only thing I just try to do is keep my damn self in line, right. take care of my body, Peace. take care of my mind and, you know, shit like that. Where I can stay out here like what me and you talk about all the time. Yeah. Until I'm like 85, That's then right. I can say burn lived a good life. That's right. That's what I concentrate on now. I don't concentrate on that negativity shit, man. Right. I don't want that in my life. I don't want the people around me, man, like right. that. I like good, uh, good vibes, man. Yeah. good vibes. So listen, we do a uh, uh, episode on Harps Court, and it's fact or fiction. Um, fact or fiction? You can answer this for me. If you and Akeem Elijah won. Stepped in a in a in a ring in a boxing ring, and there's one left one man left standing. Who's standing? Probably not African because you know the motherfuckers go crazy when they the motherfuckers. Yeah, 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 I kill you. Yeah, probably not African. <laughs> so you don't have a chance against Elijah yeah, yeah, in a boxing brother. in a boxing ring. <laughs> well, why did you try him in in a locker room? Why did you try him in a locker room? <laughs> What the hell? What a man, you know, we from Florida, homeboy, and motherfuckers put their hands on us from Florida, boy. We're going to, you got to show me something. Right. You're going to show me something. I'm running every damn body out the locker room. Like I told you, everybody done heard the damn story before. I ain't got to go over no more. <laughs> yeah, but I got them, put your goddamn hands on the Florida, boy. You, it's going to be, yeah, I got them. I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to test, I'm going I'm to check your temperature. <laughs> so let, let, let's talk about your son, man, who, who's uh, Wake Forest, right? No, Georgia Tech. Georgia Tech, Tech yeah. beg your pardon, beg yeah. your pardon. He's a yeah, Georgia it's all Tech. Good. It's all good. He's uh, going to be a junior, a sophomore, a junior. No, nah, he's a side rising sophomore. sophomore. He's finally going to get the ball, put in his hand, going to be able to do his thing this yeah. year. Looking forward to it. We all looking forward to this well, year for him. Well, scout him and evaluate him as a player. What What are you okay. getting with well, Kristen he's a, Maxwell? He's, he's, a, he's, he's, a, he's, a, he's a scorer. He scores off the – he's one. He's a, good, he's a re very good scorer. Uh -huh. He can put the ball in the hole. I mean, uh, man, uh, make great decisions, great passer. 
I mean, I mean, he's gonna be one of the top jump shooters, three point makers in the, in in college basketball. Um, very crafty, getting inside. Um, I don't think he's as athletic as he need to be, yeah. but he still can get away with it because of his size. Uh huh. He's got real good size. He's like six three and a half, six four, right. about one hundred and ninety five mm-hmm. pounds, and he know how to throw his weight around and stuff like that. So. Yeah. But uh, he's a very competitive kid, and um, uh, he he he's not going to lose a lot of fights out there on the court. Right. <laughs> and so, and, and that's what the hell, I mean, I'm talking about competing-wise, not like. Yeah, yeah I, no, I get it. I understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he, he he's a totally different, he's a totally ball, different ball player than what I was. But I, lo- I love his game. I think, I mean, he's going to. He's, he'll do well in the ACC this year. I'm, I'm, I'm just looking forward to the season because he's dropped from his – he had gained so much weight when he lost his confidence, lost his self, and yeah. went, up to two, went up to 210 and, and then broke his foot, broke his hand. Had some setbacks. He had setbacks, and he just felt sorry for himself, and then we got him back on the right track. Now he's back down to 195, he's playing weight, and now he's looking real good. He's going he's gonna to have a real good year this year. I would just look out for Tristan Maxwell at Georgia Tech, everybody. Please do. My baby boy. Yes, sir. Listen, Good year this year. Could you, could you play in this era? Would you be successful in this era? Oh, man, homeboy, all-star. I ain't make it back at all-star when I was playing in the NBA because of a lot of shit I did. But um, this era right here in this day's time, man, man, all-star every year. God, come on, man. You can't, nobody can't touch you no more. Right. I mean, I'm I'm on the free throw line 10, 12 times a game. Can't mm. touch nobody. No, can't touch nobody. I don't know why these boys want us to be Steph Curry and shoot all them long ass threes and all them damn threes. All you gotta do is when you ask getting the penalty, man, get five fouls on your team, man. Drive the damn ball to the basket. Somebody gonna put their hands on you. Go to the free throw line, man. You gotta thank this game, man. Mm. It's, it's a lot of it's a lot of just athletic players out there. Just they're just so athletic. They just they dumb with it. Mm-hmm. You know. You got to thank the game, too, man. I mean, when I see five fouls, I'm looking. I used to tell, like, for instance, when I played in Seattle, Westfall, Paul Westfall, I played with Gary Payton and them. And I used to tell him, I, I, I told him, I said, hey, coach, don't put me in the game until the team got five fouls against them. Mm-hmm. You hear me? what I'm saying, coach? And he was wondering why I wanted, why I want, uh, I was like, first of all, y'all ain't paying me enough money. Y'all playing uh, Bones, Brent Berry, all the money. Mm-hmm. Y'all paying $3.8 <laughs> million. Dollars. Y'all ain't paying me no shit. I mean, y'all paying him $5 million, paying me $3 million. Right. And then so just get, when, when when we get five fouls, then you put me in the game. And then he just do that for you. He looked out for me. He did that for me. I had one of the best years of my career at Seattle. Uh-huh. I was just, I just drive to the basket every time with five fouls. I mean, I don't know why these kids don't do that today. Right. It's easy, man. Jump shot. I'm about the All Star. Um, I'm gonna get you out of here. Um, who's the goat? Michael Jordan, LeBron James, Kobe Bryant, Michael, Michael Jordan. By by landscape, or is it close? It's it's sort of by landscape, yeah. By landslide. Landslide, yeah. Michael by is land- better than, yeah. than LeBron James. Yeah, yeah, you, you, yeah, you yeah. could you uh, you'll get a lot of pushback on that. A lot of yeah, that's fine. I, that'll be that that'll be good. I mean, that's fine. But I mean, I know that boy. The, that boy was man, and what he did, man. Yeah, and, Michael, you're you talking, know, man. That 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 <laughs> that's that's, that's man. we wasn't just letting that motherfucker do that shit. <laughs> right, right. Now, I'm just saying, man. I, I, man I, I'm with he, you. I echo those he sentiments too. Really, really was a he. Really, <laughs> if, if you put Mike in this era, just what you asked me, that question you just asked me. Yeah. The man that averaged 40. Because you couldn't touch him. No, nah, that's what I'm saying. You couldn't. He averaged 40. 40 plus, I mean. Mm. Easy. Easy. He averaged 33 with us, 32. And we was touching him, knocking him all over the place, pushing him <laughs> right. around. You were allowed yeah. to be You couldn't physical. touch him now. You got to put 10 more, 15 more free throws on that for him because you know he got all the call. Man, let me oh, let me, let me me say this, Max. You know, you're, you're my guy. We we grew up in the same state. Yes, sir. Homie. And uh, we have that in common. 
So yes. I'm gonna. I'm, this is. I'm really gonna get you out of out of here on this one. State of Florida. If they picked a, a starting five out of the state of Florida for best basketball players out of that state, where would you be in the starting five? And don't lie. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Over Vince Carter, over um, Otis Birdsong, over. We had a lot of guys, man. Tracy McGrady. Tracy McGrady. Over those guys, you would be top five state of Florida basketball players. Yeah, for what I what you talking about, what we did in high school wise. What I did in high school wise. What did you do in high school? What did what did you? Ain't do? a lot of us did that, homeboy. You did it, and I mean, ain't, I, ain't, I was, ain't a lot. I was. Ain't a lot of people. Ain't a lot of people done what I did in high school. What'd you do? Oh, well, shit, okay, well, I don't, I don't like talking about it. It's just so old, I'll go back. Oh, okay, okay, well, well, I'm just okay, curious, because well, we, we have that conversation all the time about the best yeah, five yeah, players do, my, my out of the state year, of Florida. My sophomore year, I was 28. No, 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 no. Here's the question. Top five basketball players by position, point guard, two, okay, you're talking about, three, okay, you're talking about by position, four, top and five. five. Damn. Stoudemire. That's, that's, that's a tough one. That's a tough one because you had Mitch Richmond and all them boys. Mitch was a, Mitch would Mitch would be in there. A lot of guys. Yeah, Eddie I, Jones. Yeah, like, I, I, Eddie I, I, Jones played in for a lot of them. the same year. We was he was tough. He was tough. I mean, I I still gonna put myself in that homeboy. But I, I know the a lot second of team. You can be say, second team, V. Yeah, I might. Yeah, I, I put you, myself you on one position, of them one or two. Position wise, you would have been second team. And all Why I want to tell you, we're going we're gonna to end it on this. Why, Why do you say, say that, homeboy? Because you're admitting that Vince, uh, Mitch Richmond, Richmond? He was, he, he was tough. He was a tough cover for me back Mitch then. Mitch would be in the was... top five players, right? Cat got your tongue, but that's okay. I, can, you... <laughs> I, I, I wouldn't be mad if somebody said Mitch would have went before me. Right. You wouldn't be mad. Nah, cause I know Could what be. he was. He was tough. He was a tough cub. Yeah, back in that back back in high school, you know, he was big, strong, and he was a tough cub for me. So I was for I everybody. come out of high school. I was six three, one forty five. He was already a man. He was one eighty five. He was big, <laughs> strong. He, you know, but you know, so but I, I yeah, I, well, I I wouldn't be upset if they said Mitch. I wanted to publicly get the get the truth out on this one, so. Yeah. You, oh, yeah. You gave I'll it, get to, it to you. I'm yeah. gonna get to you uncut. I'm gonna get to you real now. No, I appreciate the uncut and the real. We we got we're gonna have to edit it a little bit. I might have to stay oh, here yeah. and help my guy <laughs> Ren to edit some of this. But I totally <laughs> appreciate your time, V. It was a oh, lot of fun. Nah, that's love, my boy. You know I'm. I'll be time. in touch. Um, yes, sir. You know it. Very very soon. Yes, sir. To homie. finish up this top five players ever to play in the state of Florida, I would be the point guard. Yeah, I, I, I can say that, homeboy. You was a hell of a guy that. Yeah. <laughs> Good evening. Yeah, I play your homeboy. You, I, you ain't said nothing wrong with that. <laughs> okay. I'm in agreement with that, homeboy. <laughs> okay, homie. I love nah, you, man. You I appreciate tough, you. You tough motherfucker back then. You, yeah, you, I give you that, homeboy. I appreciate it. I love you a lot, yes, man. Sir. Yeah, man. Love, homeboy. Okay, thank you. Okay. All, All right, right, peace. Bye-bye. All right. All right. <laughs>